2023 is calling. Welcome to the Countdown to 2023 series. It is day one. You guys had an amazing Christmas or Hanukkah and just a wonderful holiday season. I think this time of year is so fun. I always have a video series. I always create videos about how to actually achieve your resolutions, how to set new goals, resolution ideas, habit ideas, all these things. And I'm so excited for this new series. It's my first time doing like a five day back to back series, but I'm actually going to teach you guys how I set my goals and my resolutions for each year. And I've been doing this for a few years now. It's the way that works the best for me. It's how I'm able to achieve what I want to achieve. It's how I'm able to not feel overwhelmed by my goals come January 1st. I kind of have that good balance of pushing myself towards my goals, trying to be a better person, reaching those goals, but also not being obsessed with productivity and progress and having a good relationship with goal settings. And I'm so excited that these videos come with free downloadable worksheets. These are going to be so helpful to you guys. So uh, sign up in the link in the description box. Not too late. You can sign up any day. And these are perfect to print out like how I did. They're just black and white, no color ink for you guys. Or if you want to use them digitally or if you guys have my, the planner I created, the Dream Achieve Workbook, these worksheets were created after what's in the workbook. So grab your workbooks or you can grab the worksheets or both. Today's special flash deal is 15% off all the Dream Achieve Workbooks, student or post-grad, any color, ends tonight. 1226 at 12 a.m. Eastern. If you still need your new year planner, today is the day to buy them and it'll keep you motivated all year long or for the next six months instead of just, you know, right before the new year. But now let's get started on how to actually achieve your 2023 resolutions. I think it's good to obviously reflect on your previous year. I'm going to be doing this in like a January reset or plan with me video coming soon. I'm not sure which one. So I'm not going to stay here and talk about my year. This is about you guys. You want to take a few minutes to reflect on the past year and then we're going to journal about what our dream life would be like. So I love this page in the workbook. It's one of your first pages. You have a vision board page, which I'll be filming out towards the end of the week. Um, and then you have this page called Dream Life Journal. And it's gonna ask you a few prompts about what your dream life looks like. It kind of helps you think big picture, not specific goals, but just like a dream life. And then we can pick specific goals from these journal prompts. So if you have a workbook, feel free to open up to this page. We're gonna run through it and I'm just gonna prompt you guys with these journal prompts and you can fill them out. The first question is, what does my dream job look like? What does my dream environment look like? Who are the dream types of people I want in my life? I think we forget this one a lot, but you gotta surround yourself with people that you love and enjoy their company. So what kind of person uh, do you want to be friends with or have in your life in the next year? What is my dream salary? Get specific. What are my priorities? Choose three. And what does my dream day look like? You can write just something quick or you can take this prompt, my dream day, and create a whole journal page about it, writing from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep, what your ideal day would look like. All right, so now that we've journaled a little bit about what our ideal future you looks like, it's time to set some goals. So first we're gonna do a little goal brain dump. This is in the workbook again. There's only eight spots here in the workbook, but feel free to take up more. You can even get super specific if you want and break it into personal, um, personal work, health, and miscellaneous goals or something like that. But just kind of look back on your dream life journaling prompts and figure out what goals really stick out to you that you can achieve within this next year. Or maybe when you're journaling about your dream job, you are actually owning your own business. That's an amazing goal to start this year, whether you have it as your full-time job or just a side hustle, 
Think about what you wrote about in your dream life journal and what goals you can pull from that to achieve this year. All right, so now we're gonna do what I call goal dividing. And this is where your first little worksheet comes out. I just broke up the quarters for you guys. So I love to do quarterly goal setting because it's manageable. So a quarter is three months at a time. I think sometimes a month goes by super quickly, but also a year feels like forever, right? So I think it's really approachable to do goals by the quarter. It gives you three months. You know, if you didn't achieve it the first month of the quarter, you can achieve it by the second or the third. And then um, it kind of also helps you break down your year by the seasons. Obviously, we use this, we use quarterly system in business as well, but I started using it in my personal life a few years ago and really loved it. And I know a lot of you guys do too. So that's why I also put that in the workbook. In the new workbooks, there's a goal dividing page with your quarters. So right now we're really just focusing on January through March, okay? You can kind of think about big picture year goals. Like I knew in April to June, I wanted to travel to Europe. So I put that on there. And then I knew in October by December. So by the end of the year, my goal, big goal for 2023 is I want to have an office for my business. So I put those on there. But um, as you can see, I didn't fill out every box for every quarter because we're going to come back to these at the start of each quarter. So right now we're just focusing on January through March, the goals that you wanna achieve in the next three months. And then when end of March comes around, beginning of April, then we'll come over to the second quarter and plan out the goals we wanna achieve those three months. So you really break it up throughout the year. You're not thinking year long. You're literally just planning one to five goals that you wanna accomplish. January, February, and March of 2023. That's all we're setting, okay? So for me, I wrote that I want to start a new year content series. That's what I'm doing now. So that will be achieved in January. I am bringing on my first intern. So that's kind of an overarching goal that will be throughout the month. I want to start ballet classes. So I don't know if I'll have time to take ballet classes in January. It's a super busy month business-wise, but maybe by February I will. And then I want to keep up with my monthly budget. So I have a little bit of a mix of business and personal goals, but you can do just personal, just health, just business, um, or you can do kind of a mix. This is my goal setting system I love, and I don't hear a lot of people talking about, but I've been, I taught this last year, maybe the year before, and it is to figure out whether your goal is a project goal or a habit goal. So for example, a project goal is something that you're going to have to have a bunch of mini goals to fulfill, like starting a business, like buying a home, getting into college, like those are all things that are going to have a bunch of steps. And so I consider those a project. Then there's the habit goals, which are get up at 6am, drink more water, things that you can do daily or weekly that don't have mini goals underneath it. It's just one thing you have to check off. But in this video, I want to share how to achieve those project goals, the things that seem really overwhelming that you're like, I don't know if I could ever actually do this. I'm going to break it down and give you guys a really tactical plan of how to achieve those big project goals. And then tomorrow, we're going to be talking about habits and how to achieve your habit goals, how to make habits stick in your routine. And I'm going to be giving you guys some new habit ideas. So in your workbook, the next page, we have it broken down, achieving projects, achieving habits. We're going to go to our achieving projects page, or you can get the goal achieving page on from the worksheet. So the first thing I want you to ask yourself is what is the project goal that I'm working on? Make it very specific, write it down. I'm going to go through the example of what I did in college to create the first Dream Achieve workbook, how I started my business with this one project and how I actually made time for this goal in my busy college life, along with doing YouTube and being a full-time student. My project goal I'm working on in this example is designing my own workbook planner. And then you're, of course, going to give your why. You may hear this a lot when setting goals. It's important to have a why, a bigger picture. So instead of just being like, oh, I'm wanting to create a planner, why am I creating a planner? To create a product my audience can use and love. It will also be the perfect organization tool for me and to start my business. So write out a few sentences about why you're starting this goal. And then this is where we get super refined, very nitty gritty. You are going to write a list of tasks needed to complete this project. Now, you're starting from zero probably. You're not going to know every single task needed. But all the tasks that come to mind when you're like, oh, I want to buy my first home, but I don't know if I can afford it. I need to find a realtor. I need to research realtors. I need to look into the school districts. I need all the little things that stop you from kind of moving forward on that goal. 
you're going to write down all those tasks. Ideally, these tasks can be completed in 30 minutes to an hour. That's how minuscule, that's how specific we're going to get. So for example, a few tasks that I wrote out when I was first knowing that I wanted to create a planner was I needed to research manufacturers. I had no idea how a manufacturing thing worked. <laughs> I needed to learn in design. I needed to sketch the pages. I needed to learn about what website platform to use. I then had to design the website. I had to order samples. I needed to plan a photo shoot, hire a photographer, design my branding, plan launch, do a financial estimate and figure out pricing, set up my Shopify. Obviously there were probably a hundred other tasks not even listed here, but this is just to get you started. Okay. So, and then here's the kicker. This is how you're actually going to achieve it. You're going to dedicate 30 minutes in each day to working towards this project. And so you're going to choose when in your day you can add just 30 minutes. Okay. That's a little extra scrolling. That's one less TV episode. You're going to just dedicate 30 minutes to working towards this goal. So I asked you, when in my day will I dedicate 30 minutes to work on these tasks? Morning, afternoon, evening, late night, those are the options here, but you know your schedule. Maybe you wanna do super early in the morning, you're gonna wake up 30 minutes earlier so you can work on this. Maybe you're gonna do it on your lunch break. Maybe you're gonna do it in the evening before dinner, maybe after dinner, maybe at 11 p.m. at night because you're a night owl. I don't know you and your schedule and what works best for you, but figure out when can you just add a 30 minute time block into your everyday and then tomorrow, if let's say you're starting tomorrow, if you're waking up 30 minutes earlier, tomorrow morning when you wake up and you're groggy and you don't want get to out of, get out of bed, you're going to reread this why and look at this sheet of paper and you're going to say, no, this is what I want to do. I set this goal for a reason. Here's why. And then you're just going to get started with one of these tasks. Just one. Super simple. If you finish it that day, great. If not, the next morning when you wake up 30 minutes earlier, you'll continue on. Set a timer for 30 minutes. I think a lot of people, when you have this idea for a goal or something exciting that you're working towards, a lot of people have a lot of inspiration at the beginning. And so it's go, go, go. And they work on it for three hours every day for a week. And then they're over it. They get burnt out by it. They get stuck and they are like, this is, um, this is unattainable. I can't be spending three hours a day on this for the rest of my life for the rest of the year. So instead we're going to take this in bite-sized chunks because you got this. You, I know you all are busy, but if you have a goal that you really want to work towards, this is how it gets done. It's a little bit every day. And if you skip a few days, that's fine. If you want to take weekends off, that's great. If you want to dedicate more time, maybe on your Saturday to working towards these tasks to get them done quicker, great. But it's just a tiny commitment of 30 minutes a day. You're going to tick down this list. You don't have an excuse to not know what you're doing because you made this list of tasks and you'll find that as you start doing tasks, more will pop up, but that's okay because you'll feel so accomplished by the end of this. When you do achieve that goal, when you launch that business, when you buy that house, whatever it may be. So this is what I did in college. I woke up at like six something, 6.30 a.m. my freshman year of college. That was four years ago. And before my 8 a.m. class, while my roommate was still sleeping, I sat on my little couch in my dorm. It was like a tiny couch with my laptop. And every day I worked on these tasks. And within a few months, about eight months, by the summer after my freshman year, I launched Dream Achieve Workbook, which has led me to my stationary business, Dream Daily. This works for whatever your project goal is in your life, whether it's personal, financial, business, career, health related. Um, try it out. Let me know your thoughts. And that's it for this first video. This one's a little bit longer than the others probably, but I really wanted to just break down how you guys can actually achieve your goals. I wanted to give you guys something you can actually do. Just have a little bit of discipline and dedication to it. And I promise you are going to love the end results. And it's a great learning experience too. You're building confidence within yourself because you're showing up every day for your goals and for yourself. All right. So I would love to see how you guys fill out these worksheets. If you download them, print them out, do them digitally, or use your workbooks, send me a photo on Instagram. Please tag me. I'm going to be checking every day. I'm so excited. Definitely check out the flash deal. If you want 15% off the dream achieve workbooks today only, and I'm excited for this series. So if you enjoyed it, give this video a like, share it with a friend. That would mean so much. Thank you for watching. And I will see you tomorrow for my next video. Bye.